Well, here's the opener for match one. With only one land, we have to mulligan. Um, if it was one white, I would consider it, but even then, I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't really consider it. It would be better. Uh, he, my opponent already mulliganed a six, so, and I chose to play last. Yep, let's mulligan away. All right. This is <laughs> pretty exciting, but. <laughs> eh, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, that certainly makes it a lot better. Now I have a way to survive until I can win with arrow volley traps. I do need some threats, though. I guess against that. Again, against a red green deck playing that card, I have a significant advantage. I feel like my deck is pretty insane against that deck. Man, I want to level this guy up like none other. All right, hopefully he doesn't have the removal spell because I'm just going for the level up. Does not look good. All right, well, this is gonna work out okay, actually. I'm about to have a two six. Oh no, wait, I have four, right? I, for some reason I thought that guy cost three. Oh well, at the very least, I can nail that guy he's only got two land I think I'm going to not block here actually and play Hyena Umbra on my turn timber basilisk. Well, no, this guy gives his guys first strike, so never mind. I'm just gonna block here. Ooh, first strike. Right. That's unfortunate. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jeez. Well, if he's out of allies, though. Yeah, I'm just going to take ten. Hmm. Not exactly what I wanted, but not the worst. So I think what I do is I play this guy and I hang on the turn timber basilisk because at the very least I can block the survivalist even if he uh, has another ally. But if he doesn't have an ally, I think I actually have board control here. Man, my deck has to be favored against this deck. If I just draw in some land. Well, he's running low. I guess I have to chump here. Okay, I think I can just trade here. Boom. That worked out pretty well. Oh, how much I wanted land right there.
Well, just have to play the Dongler Invoker in F6. Hope he doesn't have an ally or a removal spell. Nope, that would be an ally. I guess I could have held... Yeah, I probably should have just kept mana up for the Arrow Volley Trap just in case he had an ally. Because that was the only thing that really wrecked me. Yeah. Oh wait, he doesn't get... They don't get haste? Oh, he doesn't have haste. Okay, cool. Wait, really? Okay. I mean, the question is like, do I intentionally leave this guy alive so I can arrow volley trap next turn? Then if he doesn't swing with everything, it's too obvious, I feel like. Yeah. Ugh. So ridiculous. Oh man, swing with four guys. <sighs> well, I guess I probably wouldn't have played anything now because I need that arrow volley trap. Well, hopefully he swings with four guys now. That guy is straight up just going to kill me. <laughs> this is actually just getting completely ridiculous. I don't think that's what he meant to do. Man. Now I can't even afford to level up. It's really obvious that I have a trick too. I should almost just not use it. So he doesn't know I have it.
All right, just gonna concede this one. Can't stop the beats. Um, yeah, I think we have to bring in the flame slash out plains forest plains in mountain mountain. Oh, right. I need to remove also card. Um, Woodcrasher seems easily too slow. So, yeah, there we go. Should I bring in another guide and out a Life Strider? I don't know. Life Strider seems pretty good against him, but. Maybe out the bestial menace. Hmm. Don't really want to remove any of this stuff, though. Bestial menace is pretty good against him. So does the Basilisk. I could just play 41 cards. I guess I didn't see any artifact or enchantments. I'm going to cut the Sanctifiers. Sucks to change your deck for one card, but I think it's necessary in this case. 